Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving again. I am back from my mother's. We had a lovely dinner. We had, uh, oh, the, the whole fixings, the turkey, the stuffing, mashed potatoes and gravy, corn, um, um, hot cross buns, or hot, hot buns, um, macaroni salad, macaroni and pea salad, actually, it's all of our favorite, so we had that, and we had cucumber, um, with the milky sauce, I don't know exactly how mom makes it, but it's so good, and a couple other little side things, it was just, um, my mom and I, and my uncle, and, um, his, uh, son, were all that was there, and we had a good time. We played some cards afterwards. So, you know, I'm home. Um, I am wearing different lipstick from uh, the lipstick you saw me wearing previously. And what I'm wearing now is... It's called Raisin. 215 Raisin from um, Ulta. And it comes in... Uh, I got it in one of the case kits that they were selling for... $20, not too awful, oh, probably about a year ago, and I just went through it, and I thought, I'm going to take these lipsticks out of here, otherwise I'm never going to get to wear them, because I just don't reach for that, so anyway, that's what that looks like, and uh, there's one other one in that kit um, that I don't like as well, I haven't tried this one on yet, so maybe I'll like it better once I see it, it's more brown, and I am not totally tw for the brown lipsticks, this one is called Cappuccino, but I will try that one also to see if I like it. This one here is going in in my drawer. And I'm kind of stuffy feeling. It must have been something that I ate. I don't know. Um, I wanted to show you the jewelry that I'm wearing. Um, this necklace, I think I showed it in my Get Ready For Me. I can't remember. But it's so pretty. It comes with earrings that are just like these, you know, um, round deals. But I have such trouble with my ears being so sensitive and I get my ears get infected really easy so um, I don't wear earrings rarely and then um, this ring I got them both um, three years ago at Shopgo which is a department store I've talked to you guys about um, kind of like Kmart and Walmart and that kind of stuff um, they have nice jewelry there though these here were pretty expensive. Um, these were like $100 for the necklace and the earrings, and then $100 for the ring, which is like this. Isn't that pretty? It looks almost like one of those chocolate diamonds, you know, that they show. But they were 90% off at Shopco three years ago, and that's when I bought them, and this is the first time I pulled them out of the box to wear them. So, so I'm happy about it. Um, they're just so darn pretty, but I don't wear jewelry a ton because um, I wasn't supposed to wear it at work, and, and now I can, but yet I, I don't. Um, I don't know. I just don't wear it a ton. I do like to wear it in my videos because it's pretty. Um, so I'll start wearing more jewelry, but I, I rarely wear rings, but I thought this was so pretty. So anyway, I have got... Um, three things to haul for you right now, um, and they're all three kind of small, so that's why I thought I'd just do them all at once, but you're going to have to excuse me a second here. I'm going to, sorry, I should have done this before, but you know me. All right, now so I don't have, my, lip, my makeup stayed pretty well. My hair looks kind of rough, but I don't care. I don't even care anymore. So anyway, the first thing is my scent bird. This month, I and what surprised me is I got another case for it, which I thought that I would just get the little perfume thing, and um, it would just fit into my other case. But I got a new case. This is a black one. The other one was red. Um, and this scent is, and it still bothers me that they don't send a card talking about your scent. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Oso oh Fresh Sorbet, and it smells. I love Marc Jacobs perfumes. I just absolutely adore Marc Jacobs perfumes. I'm going to put some on. I forgot to put perfume on earlier, actually. So, Oh, my gosh, it smells good. Right from the first spray, it smells good. All right, so that is my Scentbird for this month, and I will leave the information down below about Scentbird. Um, 
I never thought I would like it, but you know, to get a small bottle, it's supposed to last you, that little j jar is supposed to last you a month if you use it like you're supposed to every day, which I don't. I use it maybe once or twice a week, so it'll last me a long time. So this gives me a chance to try all these perfumes that, that I never would buy otherwise. So, I mean, there's this much in there, see? And this is the first time, I, or only the second time I've ever sprayed it. I tried it once before, um, you know, when I first got it, just to, just to test it out. But I love it. I love Marc Jacobs, so I've got um, several of his perfumes coming, actually, because I just love them. Okay, so the next thing is my birch box, which looks like that pretty, pretty box this month. And I'm not comparing anything because they're like apples and oranges. They just don't. Um, and this is just, this tells about the stuff. And it, that just says hello. All right. So the first thing I'm seeing is Templasia La La Lagoon Aromatic Bath and Shower Gel, which I will use because I love, I love it when I get shower gels. Um... Where in the heck is it even on here? I don't even see it on here. Oh, La La Lagoon Aromatic Bath and Shower Gel. Full size is $18. It's infused with mint, peppermint, and basil. This gel cleanser helps soothe stress while softening and smoothing skin. Wonderful. Oh, and it does smell really good really fresh. Oh, you can really smell the um, herbs in there. I love this kind of stuff. Okay, the next thing is Darfin Paris Intro Something for Sensitive Skin. If I can find something that reads in English, I'll let you know what it is. Redness Relief Soothing Serum. It says, high potency soothing serum helps reduce the appearance of redness and instantly quiets discomfort associated with irritated skin. While proprietary calm complex glycominicans, this delightfully scented formula softens sensitive skin and leaves a comforted, more even looking complexion appropriate for skin with rosacea. It has got uh, chamomile, hawthorn, and peony extracts in it. Just an itty bitty tiny little sample. But I'll keep it in my medicine cabinet for sure. Okay, so the next thing is, you know how much I love these. This is shampoo for beautiful color and conditioner for beautiful color. Well, I will use these since my hair is colored. You know, they're not big. They're not big, but they, they're one good use out of them. Okay, and this is by Oribe. Let's see here. I'm going to put down some of this stuff. Holding it all in my hand. I don't know why. Um, let's look and see what this says about this. We've added this ultra gentle cleanser and conditioner, conditioner duo to protect and preserve color. Full size is $39.42. Holy cow. Crazy. Okay, so in this is Oribe. This is a mask for beautiful color. Okay, what does this say? Full size, $59. Holy mackerel. That's what that looks like. Um... Potent Salon Treatment Mask that protects and enhances color while taming frizz and counteracting dryness. This kind of stuff, these hair masks, I've never used one. So tell me, do you use it in the shower? Do you use it after the shower? Do you use it with the shampoo and conditioner? I, I don't quite get it. Kind of a dork when it comes to stuff like that. Okay, so two more things in here. 
this is Catherine Melandrino, Melandrino CM Style de Paris perfume. Can't smell anything yet. But I, I do like perfume samples. That is full size, $65 to $110. Yikes! This designer scent mangles summery fruits and florals with an elegant vibe. And this, oh wait, what is this? Cynthia Rowley Cream Lips Lip Stain in Sugar. Full size is $20. A long wearing stain from the New York City based designer that gives un unbeatable moisture and shine. Holy mackerel, cool. Let's, um, I think this has got a cover on it. I'm trying to figure it out here. Sometimes you just can't tell. Try to get this over here. It's coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It is coming. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this itty bitty tiny. I, I'm digging that color, though. I can't wait to see this. This is going to be cute. Look at there. <laughs> and then I dropped it. Oh, pretty. Oh, and it feels really good going on, too. drop it again so isn't that pretty whoops that's so pretty I like it itty bitty tiny I gotta find a place for all of my sample lipsticks you know what I mean what do you guys use do you use anything special for your smaller size lipsticks you know for example my um is this Too Faced I'm lost right now. My Bare Minerals size samples. What do you do? Tell me what you guys do with your sample or your smaller deluxe size lipsticks. Um, I would love to know because I need a way to organize that kind of stuff. It gets lost in all my other size lipsticks. You know, it just kind of gets put to the side. So, anyway, that was my birch box and the lipstick. I love the lipstick. I love the perfume, um, the shampoo and stuff. I'll use that, and the um, the bat, the shower gel. I'll use that. Um, I will probably use everything in that box. So that's a win for me, I guess. Okay, one more, and I will be canceling this box for sure. This is the Beauty Joy. Okay, so what is in there this t this month? I have got to show you the jewelry that they put in there. Um, it looks like something, it looks antique to me. It does not look like a new piece of jewelry. Um, I don't like it at all. This here will be getting passed on somehow. See, look at this. It even looks tarnished. This is the jewelry that they sent out. I just, I'm not happy with this at all. I don't like it at all. Anybody like it? Tell me. Anybody wear that kind of stuff? I just, I don't like antique um, stuff. I don't know. That kind of stuff I don't anyway. Okay, so this is um, Medusa's makeup. And it is a shadow primer, which is fine. I will use something like that. That's what that looks like. Just a plain old primer in there. Um, so I will use that. This here is... It says Magnolia on it. I'm going to show you the... That's that primer. It comes in a little jar like this. A little, little cute little jar. <sighs> Everything is such a tiny... This is Mineral Eyeshadow. And it is made by... It is made especially for the Beauty Joy Box. 
Um, and the color is Magnolia, and you can tell I haven't opened it yet because the sticker is still on it. But it, okay, you can look, it, it's brown. Which is okay, I, you know, I'll use that kind of stuff. I don't mind that kind of stuff. Um, this is Kings and Queens Chinese Princess Jasmine Shower, Shower Gel. Oh, okay, I'll use this. Um... I got to tell you the honest truth, though. This looks like a little kid's. I don't think it looks um, adult or anything. Okay, and then this one, this thing here, I'm happy about. This is Burt's Bees um, lip gloss, which you know I don't wear lip gloss, but but um, this is Burt's Bees, which is pretty darn good stuff. Let's. See get into that and it's uh, it's a pretty red kind of goes on hard and it's very sheer see this looks really red you really you can it builds up but it's very sheer and I just don't know if I feel any stick stickiness there anybody else have Burt's Bees see there's what it looks like and there it is here. I'm pretty sure. Um, but I don't like this box at all. I mean, it just, for a beauty box, of course there's beauty stuff in there. I just don't, I think their taste level um, has, oh, God dang, I hate to say bad things. Their taste level has something to be desired, I think. Um, I don't think they know what today's woman likes. Um, now, the Burt's Bees things, if it's not sticky, I will like it. Okay? That I'm happy with. I like shower gels, but we will see. Okay? The jury's still out. Um, eye primer, I'll use it. And the eyeshadow, probably. I don't know yet. The jewelry, no freaking way. <laughs> You know, and I do like that they put a piece of jewelry in there. I think that's fun. But I, I had gotten three three months worth. I paid for three months worth. So um, I will not. I will get one more box and that'll be it. Um, I'm just not happy with this box whatsoever. And they do say, okay, the eye primer, the full size is $8 on that eye primer. Um, it's an all-natural vegan primer for eye dust and eye shadows. All of our cosmetics are PETA certified and cruelty free, which is nice. That is very good, um, and I will use that. Burt's Bees Lip Gloss, full size is $9 for that. Rich pearlized color combines with natural oils, rich in nutrients to leave your lips soft, shiny, and 100% naturally beautiful. Okay, the, the mineral eyeshadow, the full size on that one is $10, which I'm hoping that isn't full size. Um... We've had an all-natural eyeshadow created just for us. We use an all-natural vegan formula that has never been tested on animals, only awesome humans. Made with no fragrances, no parabens, no sulfates, no synthetic dyes, uh, filfates. Uh, now these words I can't understand. Talc, which I'm a little bit allergic to. Or nanoparticles. Okay, and then the antique pendant necklace is $8. I wouldn't pay a dollar for it. A little bit of nostalgia added with a whole lot of love. This antique look necklace was handcrafted for a retro look and feel just for you. And then the shower gel um, is two dollars. So you know it's not. <laughs> Exquisite perfumed shower gel from Greece. Paraben and mineral oil free. Hmm. Well, like I said, I'm going to try it. Um, I will try everything in this box except for the necklace. I just, I, that is just not my taste. I don't like that kind of necklace or jewelry. So anyway, um, I will be passing that along somewhere. So any, that is it for this. I have one more video to shoot today and I will see you in my next one. Happy Thanksgiving.